Russia's war in Ukraine is an attack on democracy, freedom and stability in Europe. And the European Union has responded strongly with sanction packages, with arms deliveries and also with a lot of humanitarian support to Ukraine. Many European countries welcome Ukrainian refugees and give them a new home while they cannot be in their own country. Europe needs to move ahead still and that means in particular energy sanctions need to be expanded because that's the most important income for Russia at this moment. It also has to continue to support Ukraine militarily and it needs to prepare for the moment where the country can be rebuilt because this has to be a joint European project because Ukraine's democracy needs as much of support as possible uh, once the war is ended. Ukraine has asked for a beginning of negotiations and in June it is up to the governments to decide whether they do it and it's very important that they show Ukraine that they count on it as a future EU member. However, negotiations for accession will take very long and it is thus very important that the EU starts opening policies to Ukraine as of now. This should also be extended to its neighbors, um, the Republic of Moldova and Georgia, because all three of them have asked for EU membership and it shouldn't be a black and white decision because the date of a potential EU accession is very far in the future. The EU needs to do everything it can do now to stabilize the three countries and to bring them closer to the European Union. Europeans have to watch how China and Russia develop their relationship in the future. From a European perspective, it would be detrimental if a bloc emerges, an authoritarian bloc, which doesn't respect international law, which is ready to either wage brutal war or support it. Both have built military ties. The first military exercise happened in the year 2018. They have energy ties. Russia now exports more to China than it used to. And China has not taken a strong and open critical position of uh, Russia's war in Ukraine. Europeans need to make sure that they maintain a relationship with China where they can work on global issues such as fighting against climate change or working on global health issues, but at the same time take a very clear position on the importance to protect the integrity of democracies, to really make sure that also China respects international law and the territorial integrity of its neighbors, and that China remains in a position where Russia cannot say China is a close ally in this war.